In the Bible, Tel Dan is described as the northernmost city of the Kingdom of Israel, a name for the Israeli tribe that conquered the city. The city is identified as a Tel which is located in Upper Galilee and is about 30 miles north of the Sea of Galilee. Notable points of interest include Paradise Springs, the cultic site, the Abraham or Canaanite Gate, and the Israeli Gate. Here we see the Dan River, which is one of the starting points of the Jordan River. Dan is situated in the area known as the Galilee Panhandle, which is a part of Upper Galilee. To the west is the southern part of Mount Lebanon. To the east and north are the Hermon Mountains. Melting snow from the Hermon Mountains provides a majority of the water of the Jordan River, and it passes through Dan, making the immediate area highly fertile. The lush vegetation that results makes the area around Dan seem somewhat out of place in the otherwise arid region around it. Due to its location close to the border with Syria and Lebanon, at the far north of the territory, the site has a long and often bitterly contested modern history, most recently during the 1967 Six-Day War. The stone walls that we now see are the original Israeli walls and are roughly 4,000 years old. They are still standing due to being buried after the Syrians conquered the city and relatively recently excavated. After the death of Moses, the Israelites were led into the Promised Land by Joshua, who divided the territory among the twelve tribes. The portion assigned to the tribe of Dan was a region west of Jerusalem. At least part of the tribe later moved to the extreme northeast and took the city of Laish, renaming it Dan. As a northernmost Israelite city, it became a point of reference in the familiar phrase, from Dan to Beersheba. Few modern biblical archaeology discoveries have caused much excitement as the Tel Dan Stella. This inscription is one of the only non-biblical references we have of King David. The Stella was written by an Armenian king documenting his victories over two of his neighbors, one being the king of the house of David. The Stella was found at this site. This is the Israelite Gate. This is from the time of the tribe of Dan and is the main entrance into the city. This is where you would have been checked before being allowed to enter the city and where the king could have been found. In this Israelite gate, there is a raised square platform reached by two steps. Decorated stone sockets in the corner may have been created to hold a canopy. It is the base of the king's seat where he would sit in judgment. In Genesis 49, 16-18, we see Jacob giving his blessing to each of his sons before he died. This is his blessing to Dan. Dan will provide justice for his people as one of the tribes of Israel. Dan will be a snake by the roadside, a viper along the path that bites the horse's heels so that its rider tumbles backward. I look for your deliverance, Lord. We learned a few things from this blessing. First, Jacob prophesied that Dan would judge Israel. This part of the blessing was fulfilled by Samson who judged Israel for 20 years. We find this judgment and confirmation that he led Israel in Judges 15-16, as well as Judges 16-31. Second, he claimed that Dan would become idolaters. We can see this now in the cultic site. In 1 Kings 12-26-33, King Jeroboam built a temple to rival the temple in Jerusalem so that the citizens of Dan's region would have a temple and not need to leave the region for Jerusalem in fear that they would not return. In this temple he placed a golden calf and a four horn altar and instructed his people this is where they would worship. What we see here is a large modern replica of the four horned altar that was found and is now located in the Israeli Museum in Jerusalem. The archaeologist of Tel Dan uncovered a city gate made of mud bricks on top of megalithic basalt blocks, with it being dated to the Middle Bronze Age around 1750 BC. It is the oldest complete arch ever uncovered at nearly 4,000 years old, and it stands at roughly 22 feet. Its popular name is Abraham's Gate due to the biblical story that Abraham traveled to Dan to rescue his nephew Lot in Genesis 14:14. The gate was restored in the late 2000s and became a popular tourist destination. 
Thank you for exploring Tell Dan with me. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you at the next site.